The Mushroom Kingdom has so many enemies, and the best one is obviously Shy Guy. Okay, we love him. But anyway, I'm making my own Mario game, so let's make a caterpillar. Wigglers were first introduced in Super Mario World and are usually pretty calm, you know, they're chill. But if you jump on their face, they have the socially acceptable reaction of getting angry. The first thing that I did was draw the face and all of the different segments for the body, and I did this because I had a way in mind that I wanted the Wigglers to move. Basically, the plan was that the head moved horizontally, just like any other enemy, and then the body segments would follow behind. Don't worry if it's a bit confusing now, I don't really know what I'm doing anyway. So I got the head moving along the ground, and this was great, but it obviously needed a body. My first semi-successful attempt looked like this, and I hope it makes a bit more sense now what I was trying to do. There's a script that constantly takes the position of the head segment, and then each body segment can move towards that position with some offset for the increasing number of body parts. But there is indeed a problem. You've probably picked up on it, and that is the head is disconnected entirely from the body. Only a slight issue. I shifted some values around and this was all good, but this came with another problem, which was that it looks super static. Wigglers are supposed to be squishy little guys that schmoove all over the place, and I already had some code that could help with this. The first step is adding squeeze to all of the body segments, and then flipping between the different walking sprites to add some variety. Then, randomizing a bunch of values, we get something like this. I think it looks super cute and works really well with the style of the game. There was just one more thing left to do with this wiggly boy, and that was making him mad. I made a separate bunch of sprites for the angered version of the caterpillar, or the matterpillar if you will. Ha <laughs> I Koso. You're not funny. Yeah, well, you're not invited to my birthday party. L plus ratio plus I unironically like your singing voice. In my previous devlogs, I've already shown how I checked beneath Mario's feet for enemies, and I could simply apply this logic here, and instead of killing the Wiggler entirely, it would simply change its state to being angry. I found a really funny bug where everything starts to break, because when it gets mad, its movement speed gets multiplied by 1.5, and there was no cap to how many times I could actually jump on the Wiggler. So after getting super angry, the game just breaks, but hey, still pretty cool. It was also really fun to keep adding body segments just to see what it would look like, and I also had the grand idea of making it super big, and I'm calling this boy a Bigler. That's just one m and enemy. We have a lot more to make, so next we have Monty Moles. These are silly little goobers who hide underground, and when Mario walks on top of them, they jump up and start chasing him around. This was definitely one of the more simple enemies, the movement itself was really similar to the Goombas for example, except instead of moving from side to side, they move in the direction that Mario is relative to them. This made it feel really fun, and I edited the movement slightly so they'd be a lot more slippery and slidey, which I think gives them a bit more character. And also this happens, so that's sort of fun. The way that they spawn is that there's an invisible collider placed around the level, and whenever Mario walks on top of it, they jump up, which looks super derpy, and kinda creepy, and whenever they land back on the ground, they simply turn back into the new mole enemy and start zooming after Mario. Noise. You can kill these guys just like any other enemies, by jumping on their face, eating them with Yoshi, slapping them with your fiery balls, and using special substances that make you feel super powerful. And I guess I haven't brought this up in a video yet, so I may as well now. There's some code to determine which way the mole should be facing. Now, it would be super easy to just face in the direction of Mario. Uh, no. Instead, I'm actually looking at the velocity of the enemy itself. As it moves around, its x velocity changes all over the place, but it'll either be positive moving to the right, or negative moving to the left. And I simply use this value to make it look in either direction. I think it makes all of the enemies in the game feel a bit more unique and alive. I don't know, I just thought it was interesting to share. Next up, we have the mysterious turtle who controls the clouds. It's the one, the only, Lakitu. That's right, the guy who picks you up in Mario Kart, and actually appeared in the first Mario game. First thing to do was handle the movement because like the Monty Moles, they are a bit erratic and sort of random. So here's how I did it. If the Lakitu is to the left of Mario, it'll mostly move to the right. It picks an invisible point in the sky and moves towards it, and when it reaches it, it'll check again if it's to the left or right of Mario. If it's to the right of Mario now, for example, it'll move towards a point to the left, and this means that however you move around, it'll stay on the screen for most of the time until you can kill it. But it felt very rigid, just moving around with a constant velocity, and it didn't really feel like a floaty cloud man. So instead, I decided to use Unity's inbuilt physics system to add a force in the correct direction rather than simply moving it, and this looked really cool. It made the enemy feel a lot more floaty, and yeah, shaking up the move style just a little bit can have a big difference on the look of your game. 
The second part of the Lakitus is that they rain down spinies, my beloved. They throw down spinies constantly at Mario to try and hurt him since he can't really do much else in the sky. This was a lot simpler than the movement script. There was just an invisible timer that constantly counted down, and whenever it reached zero, it would chuck a spiny boy over the edge. And of course, when trying out a system like this, some things are just bound to go wrong. Anyways, if you're able to jump on the turtle man's face, he's booped out of the cloud and you can zoom around the level. It honestly doesn't help a lot because I could not be fricked to add collision to the movement, but if you're anything like me, floating above Mario levels makes you feel absolutely indestructible. And yeah, it felt really good to get a more complex enemy into the game, because Goombas and Koopas are great, but it's always good to give the player something else like a gimmick or just something fun to play around with so your game doesn't get stale. Continuing with enemies that actually appeared in the game that I'm remaking, we have Hammer Bros. And nobody likes Hammer Bros. They're just so annoying. They move so randomly and throw tools at you. Honestly, kinda rude. Any hoopsies, these guys have a kind of complicated AI and I didn't feel like remaking it completely. So I became an independent Koso and did my own thing. First, I worked on the movement because it's pretty simple stuff. They do little hops in the direction of Mario and this was really just for some variety instead of making them walk towards you at a constant speed. Then I drew the hammer and made them throw it around which worked really well on the first attempt as always. But I fixed this by matching up its hammer throws with its little hops and yeah, it's looking pretty cute. It's super annoying, so I'm sure anyone fighting it will just explode with rage. I also recolored the hammer bro and made it chuck fireballs instead of hammers and boom, makeshift fire bro. Swag. Next up is bullet bills, and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them because I do not want to. They were really easy to code, and after putting together a small prototype, I added some animations and particles to make it look a bit cooler than what they were on the NES. What I thought would be fun though was adding the bonsai bill, and mixing it with some physics we get this monstrosity. It was very fun to play around with this, and I think it could actually lead to some pretty fun game mechanics in a fully fledged game. But we only have a couple more enemies to make, so let's keep schmoovin'. I mentioned Shy Guys at the beginning of the video, and let me tell you that I go absolutely wild for Shy Guys. They are, without a doubt, in the existence of the universe, pretty cool. There wasn't really any point for me adding them, except I just love them, and I think they look really funny running around and jumping over stuff. I made two main sprites for the running and then I could simply change their coat colour to add some variety. Then last up we have Pokies, and I'm sure I won't get demonetized for this. 